of Swan Lake Chiropractic. I'm Anne Marie Lewis, yoga teacher and coach. And this month we are talking about the hips, the pelvis, and how if we could open up the muscles around the hips, inside edges, front edges, backside, outer edges, all the way around, we can support the health and happiness of our lower back. When the hips are tight, the lower spine can kind of compress. We need to open up the hips and make space for the lower back and make space to live more fully in our lives. Let's talk about a few postures that will help. The first posture I want to talk about is pigeon pose because it zones in on a couple of the edges around the hips. So it's kind of a catch all hip opener. If you come on down to your yoga mat or whatever surface you're working on and do a little warm up first through cow and cat, remember our cow and cat? Flip the toes under, inhale, lift up the heart, ground the shoulders, look up, and take an exhale and round out. Scoop up to the pelvic floor, draw the belly in, round out, look back. I suggest doing about 10 rounds of cow and cat before you work your way into pigeon pose. To go into pigeon pose, you're on all fours and sliding your right knee forward. Then outwardly rotate at the head of your leg bone and slide back as far as you can. And I wanna show you what that looks like. As I face you, I slide my leg forward. I outwardly rotate at the head of my leg bone. See how my knee is just a bit to the outer edge of the hip? You two try to get your knee a little bit to the right of the hip. Then you wanna slide back as far as you can, right? The hips and the left leg are sliding back. Now, anchor your fingertips and take a big lift up through the heart. And on an exhale, I like to breathe when I move, take a forward bend and stack up your forearms in front of the shoulders so that you have space for the upper body and release your head down. You can also stack up pillows or, or blankets out of the arms if it's tricky to get your arms to the floor. And I recommend dissolving there for 10 deep breaths. In pigeon pose, or opening up the front part of the back leg, right? The front part of the hip on the back leg. We're opening up the outer edge of the hip on the right leg. And we're opening up the medial edge of the hip on the right leg as well. So we're getting three parts connected in pigeon pose to support the happiness of your lower back. So we're talking about 10 breaths there. And then I would have you rise up and walk your hands back. Now remember when we were focusing on the core last month? We don't want to anteriorly tilt the pelvis. You want to bring your pelvis towards neutral and draw up through the pelvic floor and arrange the spine properly so that your shoulders are grounded and the heart is open. You can see here I've got this nice open line on the front part of my left hip. I'm still opening up the inner edge, the right hip, right? And the outer edge too in our pigeon pose. It's a catch-all hip opener. I recommend taking five deep breaths here. You might need to use blocks under your hands so that you can really get up out of your lower back, bring the pelvis towards neutral, right? And here we are. Now next, I say, roll the left leg around to the front. And now some of us might be a little slumped back and we're gonna have to take some cushions or extra blankets to elevate up so that we're nice and squared up with the pelvis and lengthy on the spine. And now we're gonna take a forward bend to get the back side of the hip. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, this is called head to knee pose. Drop down into a forward bend. You might not be able to reach out and catch the foot, that's fine. You might have yoga blocks. You can slide forward and drop into it for 10 deep breaths, right? You might have a strap you can use. Reach out, and this might be as far as you go into the asana, but go as far as you can into it and get your 10 deep breaths here, right? And, and then rise up and repeat on the other side. When you're done, slide hips towards heels, pull thighs towards belly, and roll around on the lower back, and then take a big stretch and open up. So those two postures together do a good job to open up all the way around the hips, the outer edges, the front part, the back part, the inner edges too. And as much as we can do to open up the hips, we are supporting the happiness of our lower back. So now, Next month, we may be talking about another subject where we can connect core and hips and shoulder girdle. And I look forward to that soon. To join my classes live, check out the link below. Thank you. Chiropractic is great and so are you.